I'm Thomas Clausen. I'm a professor of computer science at Ecole Polytechnique and I'm the director of the Master of Science and Technology program called IoT Innovation and Management. Also, and my accent may already have revealed that to you, I am not originally from France, but rather from Denmark. I bring that up since being international is one of the defining traits of this Master of Science and Technology program. And indeed, most of our students and many of the other professors who teach within that program are from all over the world, just like you are. First of all, engineering is fundamentally a multidisciplinary exercise, one that requires competencies from across a diverse set of areas. A car analogy is a good way of illustrating this. When an engineer needs to design a car, she needs to know material sciences, combustion chemistry, safety engineering, but also needs to have an in-depth understanding of the regulatory constraints on road vehicles, as well as on many, many other topics. And it's along that philosophy of multidisciplinarity that this Master of Science and Technology in IoT, Innovation and Management has been constructed to provide our graduates with the diverse set of skills that they need to be well-rounded digital engineers of the 21st century. To this end, the program is constructed around six thematic pillows and students will follow courses and do projects within each of those during their two years with us. Those thematic pillars include first those that you would expect for digital engineers, so electronics and software and communications. But the program also includes courses and projects from among the thematic pillars of sociology, the law and management of innovation and entrepreneurship. And after all, a digital engineer is expected to develop highly disruptive products and systems and to understand the acceptability and the impact of those. Our graduates from this Master of Science and Technology in IoT, Innovation and Management end up getting jobs that are well aligned with their studies. Most will enter the workforce with disruptive projects either in their own startups or as key employees of larger companies. And as it happens, from among our graduates, about 46% work in high-level engineering positions, 15% do research, mostly in industrial research laboratories, and another 23% have jobs as technical project managers. Finally, 15% work in various consultancy roles. Now, some of our graduates work at startups and others work for some of the biggest companies in the tech sector. And what they all emphasize is that the multidisciplinarity of our program has allowed them to be equally these resting both hard technical problems and complicated strategic and management situations. It's probably not a surprise when I say that all of society is digitizing and therefore that pretty much all of society needs digital engineers. And to this end, the program is designed so that it's accessible for anybody with a STEM background. That is, anyone with an undergraduate degree in science, technology, engineering or mathematics, and of course with a strong drive and a strong intellectual curiosity. Indeed, some of our very successful graduates have come to us with undergraduate degrees in aerospace engineering or in biology, and of course others with mathematics or computer science backgrounds. So in one phrase, the prerequisites for being successful in the program is to be motivated and to have a STEM undergraduate degree with good grades. In addition to the inherent multidisciplinarity of the program, I would like to emphasize two particular strengths of this program. First, it's what I call a boutique program. That is, each year we admit a small cohort of students. In fact, my guiding principle is I want to be able to know each student individually and to work with him or her individually towards their graduation. For example, to work with a student on selecting electives, on projects and internships, such that it aligns with their individual goals. That also means that our class sizes are small and therefore that individual attention will be paid to each student by their professors and the instructors. Second, the program entertains close relations with major digital engineering actors from industry. And that means that in addition to being exposed to strong academics, our students are also exposed to the stakes, the challenges and the opportunities that industry presents. And all this throughout the two years with us. The best advice that I can give a future student is to dare to dream bigger and to have the audacity to pursue that bigger dream. Indeed, equipping our graduates to successfully do so is the whole reason for the existence of this program.